Hey guys, welcome back to my uh, YouTube channel, Better with Ecat, and today I'm doing another mini reading for um, for the sign of Aquarius, actually, for the uh, May of 2020. Okay, I'm an Aquarius myself, and um, so I decided like to treat myself to the mini reading and you guys as well. So, um, I pulled some, usually, um, as usual, I pulled some cards from the tarot deck and I clarified each card with um, this deck that I really like. It's Island Time Wellness Love Oracle card, so, um, and it's very, very actually helpful. So, basically, in the center, so it ended up being kind of like a love reading, okay? Not kind, but it is. So, it's about, clearly, it's about um, romance. And in the center of the reading, we do have, it, it is actually um, kind of like a divine union, okay? We do have Queen of Cups and King of Cups right in the center of the reading, and on the ends, we do have Ace of Wands, and we do have Nine of Swords. So, what I see here, it is the Divine Union. With clarifications, um, with help of the clarification of the cards, it actually makes me think that it could be someone from your past is returning to you that you already have some kind of history with. Ace of Wands, um, though, represents new beginning. So it could also be uh, and somebody new coming into your life. Uh, take what resonates, okay? Uh, we all have different stories. Uh, so t um, I'll try to, like, hit both aspects for people um, who have somebody in mind or people who absolutely have no clue. So most likely, most likely it could be somebody new coming into your life. Okay, so which um, takes me back to Ace of Wands. This is represents new beginning, new passionate beginning, okay? Maybe a renewal of the passion, renewal of the relationship. So basically, again, something like a, some very nice, beautiful, passionate beginning. And that's what it is here um, represents with Queen of Cups and King of Cups. It is a union. It is, um, you know, it is a couple kind of on the same page, you know, both um, emotional, both very spiritual, both artistic. Um, Queen of Cups, maybe it could be a little bit more emotional, um, you know, and uh, King of Cups is very emotionally strong, I would say, you know. So his feelings, he can really control his feelings, which Queen of Cups could be more a little bit moody or earthy, um, like not earthy, dreamy sometimes. So, but there could be a, you know, a good match um, to each other. But I see... The issue with this connection is Nine of Swords, sleepless nights, overthinking, fears, you know, maybe depression, um, thinking about the past, not knowing where to go. This card, that's why it made me think it could be, um, sorry, my battery is dying. So it could be somebody from the past that actually hurt you. Or if you don't have anybody uh, from the past could who could have maybe done this to you, it could be your um, just general fear that, you know, of the new relationship or maybe um, the person, the new person doesn't really show much, um, you know, I don't know how to say... Um, much tr like trustworthiness you know so it could it's mainly all in your head all of those fears this card uh, looks scary but it's just mainly all of your thoughts in your head okay so let me um uh, tell you what uh so ace of swords new beginning right it's cl is clarified by cards called seduction it's attraction flirting dating hooking up temptation also third-party interference okay so 
maybe you've been doing it, any of those things, right? Just hanging out or hooking up or just flirting. Maybe you are the third party or maybe the person already has somebody and maybe that's what it causes you those like fears and overthinking. Or if we're dealing with somebody from the past, that could be a situation of cheating. I'm not saying it was 100%, but you know, it's one of the um, uh, possibilities, right? But uh, the present, which our couple here is uh, clarified by talking, which is interested, conversing more, a awaited message arrives, text, call, email, hoovering, which is funny. And the King of Cups is clarified by a uh, love call. Someone expresses love, a message of love, thinking of you and letting you know. So that's basically um, if you did not receive this message or offer of love yet or your renewed passion, something new, passionate beginning, you most likely um, in this energy of Queen of Cups, you are, um, you know, either just want somebody to come in into your life, somebody new, somebody exciting or you're waiting for a particular message or call or email from the person on your mind, okay? And love call represents that will be coming, already came in, and now you're all up in your head um, rethinking this situation, okay? <laughs> and um, I decided to clarify um, the Nine of Swords too, right? Which leads us to kind of, of the conclusion of this situation. It's called, um, the card called Hand of Cards, okay? And it says, take a chance, risk, be strategic, options, not showing hand gambling. Okay, so, again, it's totally up to your situation, up to you, how you feel, but cards are kind of recommending us to take a chance, you know, maybe don't jump all the way in don't show all of your cards you know but just like take a chance gamble a little bit and see what can come out of this situation give this person a check or may like not the not the not the money check but um like just um check him see how he gonna behave give him some time you know spend some time talking or if you can hang out hanging out um, and just give him a chance basically and see how he behaves. So we're all been very intuitive as I always say. So this is the time to just listen to your intuition as well. You know, like what is your heart telling you? Do you still feel like he's being shady or not very trustworthy? Um, or you feel like, oh, maybe the person changed if the person is from the past or maybe this new person, um, as not even as it seems when I just met him, right? Sometimes we meet this play, um, players. Yes, exactly. That's what I was going to say uh, next. But I mean, sometimes we meet these people who look look very good and and you know act all um, you know like cocky and stuff, and we think automatically, oh my god, he's a player. Like I don't want to deal with this. I'm gonna get hurt. But no, sometimes they ended up being you know amazing boyfriends or husbands, even on whatever it is, right? So give it a chance, that's what it says. And so for the um, end, I kind of want to pull another oracle card from the Crystal Angels. And let's ask angels, what's, what's the, what should we know regarding the situation? Can you give us more insights? What should we know? What should we do, angels, please? For the Aquarius, May 2020. Okay, I usually like to shuffle it a little bit longer and see what's really pop out. Stay with me, stay with me. Or oh, intuitively pull a card. Let's see. Okay, maybe this one is like trying to come out. Oh, okay. It says passion and purpose. So your enthusiasm gives you energy and motivation to work on a meaningful project that's dear to your heart. So basically, again, 
be enthusiastic about this situation don't just jump in into negative conclusions oh my god it's gonna be bad it's gonna be as always something you know not gonna go well something you know just like turn on your your passion turn on your positive vibrations send them out to universe and just to be positive like change your perspective and the things will change that's how they say okay and let's do one more <laughs> let's do one more here what do we need to know angels please for the sign of aquarius for the may 2020 all right i like this one self-confidence through god confidence believe in yourself by believing in god working through you so again self-confidence is the key the way um, you put yourself out there don't be insecure don't try to overthink don't again try to project those negative emotions or thought thoughts in generally into universe and especially at front of this new person you know maybe you should be more easy going lighter um just you know just don't again as i said don't show all of your cards at once keep it to yourself but just like let him to prove himself let him take you out or see you know what he gonna what he gonna talk about what he gonna text you about and how often he does it you know so basically it's pretty positive reading okay um i would say give it a chance and see for yourself all right okay guys hope you enjoyed the reading Please like, share, and subscribe, and I will see you soon. Bye.